Hi guys, this is Sayed. Today I'm going to explain about like a uh, letter of credit. Okay. So for example, uh, without letter of credit, I'm going to purchase uh, like uh, any item, any goods to the other other country. Okay. As you can see this. I'm going to purchase other country. Okay. I'm going to make the payment. Then goods will be come to me. Correct. In case if I pay, I did payment, but goods is not come. That's what is happening. It's risk, correct? Because we don't know they will deliver it or not. It is good company or not. So I pay for it. So in case na the ah, yani kai to orlo na kai na ho. So I don't know. It is risk, correct? So that means this kind of situation we are going to make LC. So we can going to see what is the LC. How it is going to like uh, involving the bank and uh, how we are going to getting item from the supplier exporter without any risk. Okay, the bank. Okay, bank is middle of the bank. Then you can see the supplier, exporter, and importer, and money payment. Okay, I'm going to explain one story. Like uh, how it is going to happening, okay. See LC letter of credit, okay. Like LC letter means what? This is LC is a letter of credit issued by a bank, okay. The bank will make payment of the exporter goods because behalf of importer. The main benefit of using LC is. That you can ensure the collection of payment and receiving the goods. The main purpose in the LC number is to ensure that we have the correct number of goods and the correct number of goods and the correct number of receive. So the central bank will operate. Okay. If imported is unable to make a payment for say some reason, the bank will take the responsibility of the payment and exporter ensure that they will get. Paid as the bill will process quickly. Okay, then what is happening? See, in case this importer is for some reason is not going to make the payment, so what is the going to happen? This bank will take the responsibility. If a bank responsibility is there, now they are going to like they are go. How we discuss for the exporter order the best of the bill exporter. Quick up in the process for now. Then, then what is going to happen? Importer and the Avondor or assume for now, confirm on the payment for the render when a bank left with the is for now. Okay, so best on the diplomacy, the exporter they send cargo, so will be delivered by using LC. Up a cargo number to carry it now, my use LC and my use for now. Okay, now. Also, importer will receive the cargo soon after they make a payment. So once importer will pay for the cargo, confirm ma, I am okay. For the end of the process, I am going to carry on. That is the LC order main purpose. Without LC, we are going to make any transaction with any other countries. What is going to happen? There is the risk. We don't know if you are the supplier. We don't know you are going to get the payment or not. If you are the customer, you don't know after the paying the amount how you are getting the goods item. So this both side there is a miss, there is the risk, right? So based on that, they are going to use for LC. Okay. Now I am going to explain about how bank is involving the LC. See, the bank will assume the payment for an exporter. The Bank will purchase the like a documentary bill. Based on that only, they are going to make the payment. And exporter submit both shipping document and bill exchange. And importer will need to make payment of the bill. Okay. So this is the bank is involving how they like a, whatever the document, what are the like bills, what are the source document. The exporter will submit to the bank based on import. Also going to make the payment. Okay. Now 
i am going to explain about like a like a chart of like a chart of like lc how it is going to process you can see one by one it is very easy you can see i, I, I it is i took it from this chart from the google you can see the like a numbering is there you can see the first one agree and contact us for example as importer and exporter they are going to like uh, they have what are the agreement it is there they are accepting all the things then they agree for that contract after that importer is going you can see the number two importer he apply for lc to the bank okay see first exporter and importer they between they are they have some contract then importer is going to apply for the lc to the bank then what happen bank they are checking the all the scores and everything for the importer like importer company name like everything is clear then they are going to move issue credit letter to the <coughs> exporter bank it is between two bank correct because this exporter and in exporter and importer that banks so whatever importer is going to tell to the credit letter or something it is going for the advising bank confirmation okay then what is happening you can see the fourth verify the lc and forward to the exporter so on the bank ella verify panniti the okay nu solitte exporter ta like idu namma hand over pannadu then what is happen fifth point you can see goods and shipping it is going to the where it is going the goods and shipping adavad exporter ku importer ku between inda goods in and goods and shipping oda process la nadakku adikapra sixth pathina ka the document are provided the goods and shipping or document everything they are going to provide to the exporter bank then exporter bank they forward to the importer bank after that importer bank it is verified everything they send to the importer okay then what is going to happen they are going to make, importer going to make the payment to the bank then based on the this, uh, letter of credit they are also going to transfer goods to the importer this is the procedure this is the main purpose like uh, it is without risk you know now we are facing if we are ordering online sometimes we are not getting the same pro, same item they are given the mismatch item or their damage or something is there right but the same thing like uh, it this big business they will pay some more amount or something the big amount huge amount this what is happening when it fraud or something will happen so who is the responsibility it, it is risk for both side importer and exporter correct so this is the middle is the bank Mid bank is the center then what is going to happen this bank can handling the things this importer is not going to make the payment some reason so bank will pay for behalf of importer that means exporter don't you don't have any problem about the payment if they are going to use lc okay guys thank you so much i hope everybody is understanding for the lc our next video i'm going to post what is the entry of lc how it is like how it is adjusting the entry okay guys thank you so much